Today I'm going to be sharing with you where you can find Rolex watches down on some of these beautiful island destinations in the Caribbean or wonderful places like Bermuda, Aruba, or Cancun. So stay with me amigos. Welcome back amigos. If you are joining me for the very first time, I am Laura, Latina army wife born and raised here in the great state of Texas. And I'm just a Latina who happens to love luxury. I love to collect wonderful luxury handbags, share military discounts, but my number one love is actually luxury watches and Rolex being the very top one on my watch collectors list. And today I am going to be sharing with you some of the wonderful island vacation destinations that we have traveled to that I actually found some of these Rolex watches at. And we are in the season right now for graduations and summer vacations. And maybe you might be in the market for looking for a Rolex watch if you're going to be traveling anytime soon to one of these wonderful places that I am going to be sharing with you. So today's video, I will be covering some of the wonderful island destinations or other vacation destinations that my husband and I have traveled to that actually sell Rolex watches. Some of the retailers I will mention are authorized dealers and some of them happen to be stores that actually sell some Rolex watches. And of course, I would always recommend that you do your due diligence and checking the Rolex website in regards to some of the authorized dealers or stores that they have listed that sell Rolex watches. Now, my husband and I took a Southern Caribbean trip back in December of 2022, and we visited the wonderful Southern Caribbean. So we stopped and of course, the picturesque island of St. Thomas, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, Granada, and Antigua. But we've also traveled to other wonderful islands that have the duty-free and sell Rolex watches, such as Aruba, Bermuda, and Cancun as well as even St. Martin. So I'm going to be sharing some of those stores with you from these wonderful destinations. We were on our recent Caribbean cruise. I was stopping into many of these stores because I was actually looking for the Rolex watch that was on my wish list to um, commemorate my milestone birthday that is coming up. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the one I was looking for. However, I was fortunate enough to receive my second Rolex offer from my lovely essay here at my local store that is an authorized um, Rolex dealer. So she did offer me the one that was on my wish list. And I currently have one, which is this 26 millimeter um, Lady Date Just. And then I have this lovely 31 millimeter Oyster Perpetual and the turquoise face. So this one was offered to me back in October of 2022. And my third one comes in this lovely, lovely box that is beautifully wrapped because it will be revealed in a few short weeks next month in June for my milestone 50th birthday. I'm super, super excited that it actually came in and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. So please consider subscribing if you love Rolex watches. Before I reveal the names of the stores at these island destinations, I want to provide you some Rolex shopping tips just in case you haven't already been given these by your local authorized dealer and maybe you're possibly shopping for your very first watch. Well, there is a very large community of watch lovers here on YouTube and there are some masters that are a wealth of information. The tips that I'm going to be sharing with you are just ones that I have learned from speaking with the sales representatives, our Rolex masters at our local authorized dealer, as well as some of the tips that I received from speaking with other watch experts as I visited some of the other stores here locally that sell pre-owned watches. And some of them are no longer authorized dealers, but they still have so much wealth of information that they gave me when I was shopping for my second and my third Rolex watch. And I wish I knew this information prior to me purchasing my very, very first one over 10 years ago. So my first tip that I can give you is always just do your research. That's why I'm going to go ahead and provide the names for you because I wanted you to do your research prior to search any reviews, any comments, 
things that are out there on Google, on TripAdvisor, see what they have been saying about that particular store, the authenticity of them selling, any type of Rolex Cartier, any type of luxury watch that you are looking for, and maybe even any after like customer service that they've provided once they made that purchase and left that island destination. Second tip that I would give you is ask to make sure like when you purchase your watch, does it come with the original box? Does it come with the original paper? Like I happen to have the little plastic ring still here. Typically your authentication card and your little Rolex booklet is gonna come back here as, as well as like the little Rolex tag. That was the price tag. And then of course this one, like the little certified um, tag here. So I would ask to see if they have that just in case, because you never know, this is always a nice to have. Just so you know, a watch can come with its box, the authentication card, the little booklet, everything. And they could tell you that it's probably new, but if, if that watch was actually sold to someone and they registered it to them, then the watch would be considered pre-owned. Be sure to ask that question because in case you go into a store that sells pre-owned Rolex watches and they try and pass it off as new, if it was previously registered, know that it is considered a pre-owned watch and that might be able to give you just some maybe buying power. Hopefully it'll help you maybe in negotiating the price. So again, please do your research. If you are looking for a specific model when you are going to these island destinations, look up right now, start researching what the current um, prices are of of what they are currently selling for on the aftermarket. And my third one, very, very important, muy importante, and I wish I knew this prior to buying my very, very first pre-owned uh, Rolex watch, is ask the seller if that watch has been modified in any way. Because if they start to change the face, if they start to change the bezel, then the watch is no longer original. And if there was any warranty on the watch, it'll void it. Watches all have like a serial number, like a VIN number, just like a car. And Rolex has it registered as to how that watch was originally made. You know, if it didn't have a diamond bezel, maybe it was just a regular, you know, plain, smooth, round bezel and maybe just a regular, um, like a starburst face. But once they start to alter the watch in any way, that can impact the price when you go to try and possibly trade it in or maybe sell it yourself. Now you may pay a higher price because it's been upgraded, but you can lose value on it because the watch is no longer original. And they might tell you that, well, that watch isn't original and that might impact your um, price when you're trying to trade it in, maybe possibly for another model if you're wanting to upgrade to an, a nicer one with, with diamonds, diamond face. And case in point, that's what happened to this one. I purchased this 26 millimeter Lady Date Just two-tone with yellow gold, mother of pearl, diamond face, and a diamond bezel. Now, back in 2010, what I paid for it, I paid less than half of what this current 31 mil Oyster Perpetual with the t turquoise blue Tiffany um, colored face as they call it. I paid less than half than what I paid for that one. So that just goes to show how much the market has changed and the prices currently. A few years ago, I tried to consign it with the online consignment store, The Real Real, and the appraiser happened to call me herself and tell me, your watch has so many aftermarket upgrades that we won't accept it. So just know that that can possibly happen depending on where you're trying to sell it or maybe possibly trade it in. It could impact them whether they'll accept it or not or whether you might be offered a lower amount because of the fact that the watch is no longer original from how Rolex built it. At the time of this filming, the stores that I'm going to be mentioning to you are currently authorized Rolex dealers. I will show the name as well, and then I'll provide you the ones that are not. And please know that even though they are an authorized Rolex dealer currently, this could change from time to time because as a store, when you are an AD, you do have to follow by Rolex's, you know, expectations you have they have certain guidelines that stores must follow in order to be an authorized dealer but i will show the name of the store that is currently an ad for the ones that i did find so with all that said let's go ahead and move into the stores that sell rolex watches at these very beautiful and wonderful popular vacation destination. The very first one that I wanna share with you, when we took the cruise, we actually flew to Puerto Rico and we went on the Celebrity Cruise Line. If you've never been on Celebrity, it's a total different experience, a different atmosphere than if you are used to traveling Carnival and Royal, which are the two that my husband and I have previously traveled on. Now, Celebrity Line is the 
luxury line of Royal Caribbean. So it's a step up. And the Celebrity Millennial is the ship that we went on and it was absolutely wonderful. It is a very mature, older crowd. And because it is a luxury um, cruise line, you are going to have things that are sold differently than what you would find on other lines. And in this particular ship, they actually sold pre-owned Rolex watches. And probably by maybe the second or third night at sea, they actually went ahead and revealed them. And I will put in the video footage of the ones that they had. They actually had a nice little variety. And of course you would be buying it tax free. So know that that is one, not sure if all of the celebrity cruise lines will carry, you know, pre-owned Rolex watches, but from what everybody has told me, you know, they do have a different, you know, more of like an upscale type of things that they do sell. So that is the very first one that I wanted to share with you. In case you do take a cruise on Celebrity, you might just find one there. And just so you know, that ship also had a What Comes Around Goes Around boutique, which is a little consignment store that you can find online, but they actually had one on the ship. So they had a lot of um, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Chanel handbags um, and accessories. So just FYI, in case you are a handbag luxury lover or you are traveling with one. Now the store that I'm going to share with you at the very first island destination is going to be in St. Thomas. We've gone there several times by ship and staying there. In 2019, when we went, there is an out the rice dealer called High Rise. They're downtown, so you will need to leave the cruise port. And they had a really large amount of Rolex watches. And they've got a lot of stores down there downtown. So I'm, I'm sure you are going to find a lot of um, other stores that might carry pre-owned. But the authorized dealer is called High Rise. There is also another store that is called Little Switzerland and they are downtown as well. In case you're looking for like Cartier, they have them as well and they have some other brands. They do have an online site so you can always check them out as well. Yes, you'll see their little banner. They actually do have one there at the cruise port, but the cruise port that is towards um, maybe the left-hand side of like the marina where the ships are um, porting in, which is the newer one that handles the larger, larger ships. That one does not have any watches. You actually have to go downtown for that one. Now, per my sales rep, the little Switzerland store that carries the Rolex watches is the one in the Dominican Republic. And when I was in the market and purchasing uh, my Rolex watch last year, she had mentioned, she goes, that's not an item that we can acquire for you and send it to you on the mainland because Rolex has strict guidelines and you actually have to purchase the watch in person. Now, little Switzerland, if you go in there and you, um, have build a relationship with one of their sales associates they can actually send you stuff to the mainland especially if you live here in the u.s which is how i actually purchased my cartier watch so and when i was in the market last year i went ahead and decided to purchase one through them because of the fact that i could save on the sales tax and they were actually able to then send it to me and i was able to save um that amount rather than me buying it here in the states now it wasn't duty free some of the items that are there that they sell, they are duty free and some are not. It just depends on the actual um, designer of like the jewelry, like David Yurman, they no longer are duty free, but they can locate anything for you. So it's always nice to build a relationship with them because if it's a brand that they carry, you can, um, you can shop online, but if you have that connection with a sales associate, they can actually send the item to you um, here in the States, especially for, um, for us. Now, if you live in another country, I would go ahead and, and ask how that works if they are able to, but you save and you have no tax because in St. Thomas, you don't have any tax. Now, the next island that we stopped in is Antigua. Now, Antigua currently, right now, there is not a authorized dealer listed on the Rolex website. However, they did have some stores that did carry the Rolex watches and they do have a Diamonds International and the other one was called Abbott's Jewelry. Once you get off the ship and once you enter, there is going walk towards the center where there is a big like information booth. So they do, that's where you have a lot of people, you know, signing up for, you know, excursions for that type of day, you know, cab rides and all that. There's a Diamonds International, a little bit past that on the right hand side. And then past that tourist booth, there's going to be another jewelry store on the left hand side. And those are the ones that I would go ahead and check 
because that's one that we walked into and when we went they of course didn't have the one that I was looking for but I, I would highly recommend that if this is what you are in the market for that that's the first thing that you do when you get off of the ship is to go to the stores to see what they have and rather than waiting till the end of your day when you're heading back because they might have already sold out of the one that you possibly would be looking for. The next beautiful island that we visited was St. Kitts and I've gone to this island a couple of times. It's absolutely beautiful. I think they just rated it like one of the top vacation destinations and it is highly, highly worth it. Now, <clears throat> when, now for St. Kitts, when you get off of the ship and you're walking and you're going past like the tourist information spot, there is going to be a Diamonds International again on the right hand side and they sell um, pre-owned Rolex watches. If you go past farther, there's gonna be like an Effie jewelry store on the corner past the Diamonds International. Now, once you pass the Effie store, go a little bit and there's gonna be another store called Royal Gems. I'll insert the pictures of the two storefronts. That one also sells pre-owned Rolex watches. The store, this particular island does not have an authorized Rolex dealer as well as of this filming. So definitely do your research on both of these stores and see what the comments are out there. But St. Kitts is a wonderful island destination that has a ton of stores to visit, a lot of jewelry stores, a lot of stores that sell other types of watches for different brands, but highly um, recommend that you explore that shopping area just in case there is another store that might have them aside from these two that I mentioned. Now the next one is St. Lucia. And this one as well has a very nice little small cruise port. It has some stores there. And for this particular island destination, we actually went on our excursion. And when we were coming back, there is, when you're coming back into the cruise port from the outside, there is a large jewelry store on the left and on the right. It's the same. And I walked in there and started to look at their watches and they didn't have any in there that I saw. Since so, I didn't find any watches in that first jewelry store as I entered into the cruise port, I started to make my way back to the ship and I stopped into another little store called Harry Edwards. So as you can see, it says St. Lucia and says Granada. Now in this store, I walked in and it's the second one. There's a very first one that sells like Swarovski and Pandora. Keep going. Then in that next one, that's where they're gonna have like the fine jewelry and the watches. Now, St. Lucia did not have an authorized dealer as of this time. So they are going to be just locations that sell pre-owned watches. So when I went in, they actually had a really nice amount and I will insert the video footage here. Nobody was really bothering me. So I was able to just take that video footage really, really quick. And so I didn't see the one I was looking for. So I went to the back and I was just looking at everything else when a very nice young gentleman came to me and asked me if there was anything that I was looking for. And I said, well, I happened to just pop in and browse to see what Rolex watches you had. And so I, he asked which one I was looking for. And I was like, you know, 36, you know, rose gold, yada, yada. And he said, I don't have that one, but I actually have one in the back. He goes, we have a new one in the back. We just do not have it out. And he goes, why don't you just take a look at it and see if maybe you'll possibly like it. And I said, okay. So he brings it out and I'll pop up the picture of the one that he um, ended up showing me. But it was a yellow gold with a black face and it was more of the sportier, I think it was the Explorer. And I said, no, thank you. I said, that's not the one that I'm you know, looking for. And so as I was trying it on, a lady happened to walk in and say, is that the only Rolex watch that you have, like brand new? Because she could tell that it had the tags and everything on it. And he was like, yes, ma'am. And she was like, Sigh. and she just walked out in a huff and left. Had she been kind enough and had she been nice enough, I would have said, ma'am, I'm just looking at it. I don't have any intent to buy it. But she left like that. And so I said, okay, I'm not even going to bother saying anything. So she lost the sale. And so did they because they didn't even bother to tell her like, ma'am, if you just wait a minute, you know, she's looking at it for right now. But just so you know, if you do not see any in the case, maybe because they are gone or maybe they have a few that are out there, always ask because you never know they might have it in the back just like Hermes they have the bags in the back but they don't have them out so it never hurts asking to see if maybe they possibly have one that you're looking for if you don't see it in the case now since we saw that the Harry Edwards jeweler had a location in Granada my husband said 
first thing tomorrow when we arrive at that island, we're gonna get off the boat and we're gonna go straight to the store first just to see if they have any before we go on any excursions. And so we did that. When you arrive in Granada and you enter into the um, cruise port area, it's almost like a little mini mall. Once you walk inside, the Harry Edwards jewelry is on the left-hand side. And they had some watches and they had like the Pandora jewelry. So I asked the lady, do you have any Rolex watches here? I said, because we were in St. Lucia and we thought maybe you had them here. And she said, no. According to her, there, they have the watches at the Sandals Resort. She said, we don't have them here. She goes, you would have to go over there. They're the ones that have them for the for the guests that are staying there at the resort. So just FYI, in case you were visiting the island, according to the young lady there at the store, that is where they are sold. And we love sandals. We had our wedding moon there back in the in Nassau, Bahamas. And since I am an army wife, they do do military discounts off of their off of their rates. So beautiful, you know, chain that we enjoy. But just FYI, that's where she mentioned that they do sell the Rolex watches. There is another store that is a jewelry store. I can't remember if it's a Diamond International and they might have them there so it won't hurt to look um, in that particular one as well because they did have um, like two of the larger uh, common Caribbean islands stores and won't hurt to go in there and check out to see if they do happen to have any of the pre-owned Rolex watches but they do not currently have one that is listed as an authorized dealer on the website. The next one is Cancun. My husband and I went in May of 2022 for our wedding anniversary. Now, if you are familiar with the hotel zone in Cancun, we stayed in the Live Aqua, very beautiful um, resort. And on the left-hand side, if you go down to the left, um, now there's a brand new Rio Cucalcan. And so past that, you'll see a Cucalcan mall entrance. And then the luxury mall is like past that, but you can enter in through that Cucalcan entrance there and just walk all the way down. Now in the luxury mall is where you're going to find um, Cartier, you're going to find Hermes, you're going to find um, Bulgari and the Rolex authorized dealer. And we went in there and when I went, they actually did have exhibition models. They did not um, have any like out to be sold unless they might've had them in the back. But definitely check out that AD if you are looking for one and you're going to be visiting there at that particular um, destination in the Mexican Riviera. The mall, the luxury mall is towards the left of Live Aqua. It is not the shopping mall across from it. That one has like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, YSL, Tiffany, all of those. The luxury mall is down to the left from the Live Aqua. So definitely check them out. And also in case you do purchase anything there, they will most likely um, call the people from the kiosk where you're doing your tax free. They will, they might call them down because when we actually purchased something in Cartier, they actually brought the young lady down to go ahead and process all the paperwork. Just make sure you have your passport with you um, and they'll call them down to do it. If not, all you have to do is go upstairs through the escalator and then they have their own little kiosk there. So this way you can handle all of that paperwork and you don't have to worry about doing it when you get to the airport. It's very nice and convenient because they have one there at that mall and they have one of course across the street from like that Live Aqua in that big um, shopping mall area. They've got another kiosk there. So it's extremely convenient and just really fast and easy and they'll give you all of your paperwork back as to what you will be getting your, um, like your VAT tax back. The next one is in St. Martin, another beautiful island destination as well. St. Martin actually has an um, authorized dealer called Goldfinger and it's going to be down there on that cruise port. So you're going to be on the French side in that particular island. Um, definitely check them out. We went to that island back in 2017. So of course at that time I wasn't shopping for a Rolex watch, but there are a lot of other um, you know, jewelry stores. So I'm sure they're going to have some pre-owned Rolex watches in there as well that you can check out. I would definitely Google like TripAdvisor, see if people have commented on it, but know that that island destination does have an authorized dealer. The next one is Bermuda. They actually do have an authorized dealer and it's called Kristen Jewelers. That one is going to be in the parish of Hamilton. So Hamilton is going to be like in the mid area, like in the middle, it's downtown of the island of Bermuda. Now, if you are flying with the airport is on one end, like think to the far, far, far right hand side, then you have the middle island of um, middle area or like the city of Hamilton. If you're traveling by ship, the cruise port is way on the other end, like on the far, 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 far left side of the island. So 
you're talking a good amount of distance. If you're traveling in by ship, just FYI, when we went in 2018, just to travel to half of the island from the airport to where we were staying, um, literally like in the center of Bermuda, it was a $50 cab ride. So if you're going from the cruise port down to downtown, you're probably going to be looking at $60, $70, probably who knows how much it is now, because of course that is the most expensive island according to Forbes to live on. Um, so just know that if you're going to be traveling by cab, please expect to be paying a hefty little cab fee. Do not have rental cars and other unless you get a little scooter and you would have to then take the bus if you don't want to spend all that money on a cab ride. They have buses that run. They're very convenient. We, that's what we took when we were there for like 12 nights and a very beautiful island. But just know that the AD is going to be downtown so you can make the day of visiting all the cute, quaint little stores down there. Check out that beautiful like museum that they have there and just make a nice day of it. Now our number one Caribbean destination that we actually have fallen in love with and would love to like buy property there is Aruba. And if you um, fly there, you know, it is a wonderful place to stay, whether you are going to be staying in the high rise area or the low rise area. If you're on a cruise and you're traveling in to the island by ship, where the here is where the um, ship will dock. You're going to be actually downtown and in that nice downtown area where you're going to have like your luxury stores like Louis Vuitton and the authorized dealer. The authorized dealer in the island of Aruba is called Gandelman. So it's going to be there um, like by the casino in that downtown area. And if there's other stores that carry them, you're going to find them probably more like in the high rise area. So you would have to take the bus or take a cab there. The buses are extremely, extremely convenient, so much easier to get on than Aruba. Um, but it's going to be over on the far, far, far um, like left side where more of the high rise, a lot of the restaurants, there's another like a little shopping area where they have um, like the water, almost like the Bellagio in Vegas where it goes up. They've got other stores over there. So I'm sure you can find some pre-owned um, Rolex watches as well <clears throat> at some of those locations, but know that the authorized dealer is going to be downtown. The last one is going to be the Bahamas. The Bahamas actually has three authorized dealers. If you're traveling in by ship, the most convenient one is going to be the one that is there downtown. That store downtown that is the authorized dealer is called John Bull and it's it's almost like a big, big, big store. They carry, they sell a lot of items in there as well. Very, very nice. And it's just convenient because you have a lot of the other stores down in that downtown area. And it's very convenient to going back to your cruise ship, back to, you know, to the port. So it's going to be very, very convenient. The other one is in Paradise Island and the other one is a little bit farther down, but the most convenient one is going to be there downtown by where the ship docks. Now for any of these destinations that have these Rolex watches, whether they are an AD or maybe a store, the name that I have shared with you that sell these pre-owned Rolex watches. If I were you, my best suggestion would be to call them, reach out to them, Google them. Usually their stores, they are online and they will have like an email where you can contact them and ask them. It never hurts to ask to say, if you're in the market and you're looking for a particular watch and just ask him, I am going to be visiting this particular island from this, this time frame, especially if you're going to be staying there or if you're going to be traveling by ship and you're going to be docking in and just let them know this is the day I'm going to arrive. The, you never know. They might tell you we are expecting that watch or you know, can you please keep us in mind if you do receive it because I will be in on that day. It never hurts to ask because they just might be accommodating and hold that watch for you. Back when St. Thomas had a Louis Vuitton store, I was in the market for a handbag because I didn't want to pay the sales tax for it here in the States and I knew I was going to be traveling there on vacation. I called customer service and I said, this is the handbag that I'm looking for. Does that store in St. Thomas have it? And they said, no, they don't, ma'am, but we will send it over there for you. And they sure did. They sent that handbag to St. Thomas a couple of days before we left on the trip. The representative or the sales rep from St. Thomas said, I actually have your bag. I received it. When you arrive in St. Thomas, go and do all of your excursions, have all of your fun. I have your handbag. You make me the very last stop that you see before you get back on the boat. We will have the handbag here for you. And she did. We had our fun, we went, we stopped, we purchased the bag, and then we went back on the boat, and I was able to save my sales tax on that particular handbag. It's a bummer that they closed that um, boutique, but I was able to purchase two handbags on a couple of our 
trips there to St. Thomas. So that's why I share this with you is because you never know, they might be accommodating, they might have it. Maybe you are looking for a specific older model that has just certain features and maybe some of these stores that are pre-owned, they just might have it for you. So it never hurts to ask. I hope all of these tips and some of these stores that I've shared with you help in case you are in the market for the Rolex watch that you have had on your wish list. All of these islands are beautiful. They are unique. They are fabulous. You know, Aruba just has our heart, but some of these just have so many natural wonders that you can't go wrong with either one of them. And I know you will enjoy these beautiful destinations and hopefully be lucky enough to find your watch on your wish list. Congratulations if this watch is going to be a present for you, maybe because you are graduating, maybe you're going to give it to one a special graduate or you are marking a wonderful, anniversary or a milestone birthday or an achievement or a reward, a promotion, and even maybe just because we work hard, we deserve to treat ourselves. And why not treat ourselves to a beautiful timepiece by Rolex that's going to last a lifetime and you are going to get the most cost per wear out of, I guarantee. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Would love to have you a part of the family and click on that bell so it'll alert you of my latest video. Amigos, thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me and allowing me to share these wonderful vacation destinations that you might be able to find a Rolex watch either through an authorized dealer or a store that sells pre-owned watches. If you happen to visit one of these destinations and you find a store that I did not mention in this video, please put that information down below in the comment section. So this way it'll help out our other YouTube um, amigos here on this platform and just in case they are also in the market for a watch and you might be able to provide another store that they can go in and visit and hopefully locate the watch on their wish list. This is the month of May and we recognize and honor all of our military around the world. And also on May 12th, it is a special day because it is Military Spouses Appreciation Day. So to all of the military spouses, I thank you for your service because we were the silent rank and we serve too. So to all our veterans and to all our servicemen and women serving and defending our country from my home to yours, thank you so much for your service and thank you for my freedom. Hasta la próxima, amigos. Goodbye. Salud.